Lord, I pray you give us wisdom when we hear the stuff that's going on in the news, all the bad stuff. There's a little good, but there's a lot of bad, Lord. But you said things would get worse before you return, so we just know to look up because your, our redemption is near, Lord. Our redemption is nigh because you're coming soon. We can have hope in you no matter how bad it gets around us because we, we believe in the rock. Everything else is sinking sand. Amen. 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 So we're going to go ahead and start at the end of October for a prophecy update here. We're going to do some news headlines. Uh, here's the headline on uh, October 28th. Suspected U.S. drone strike kills two senior Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia. Also, Israel strikes Gaza after rocket fire. Talks just buying around more time. Netanyahu restated Israel will prevent Iran from getting a nuclear bomb. Headlines on 1029. 128 dead in battle between Nigeria military militants. October 30th, 35 killed in Iraq attacks. Another headline, the UN has agreed to send a 250 strong military unit to the Central African Republic to protect UN staff. A humanitarian official said the civilian population experiences immense suffering with reports of mutilations, rapes, torture, and conscription of child soldiers. Ten thirty-one headlines. Malaria in U.S. at 40-year high. November 1st, 6.6 .6 earthquake shakes Chile. November 4th, mystery explosion at Iranian nuclear reactor. November 5th, Air Force makes God optional in enlistment swear in oath. Not good. They, look what happened when they took God out of the schools. Another headline. Boko Haram kills 70 in a three-day murder spree. For those of you who don't know, it's a, it's a Muslim group in uh, Africa. November 6th, Saudi nuclear weapons on order from Pakistan in to counter Iranian nuclear threat. Another headline, felons could have been hired as Obamacare navigators with access to our personal information, including social security numbers, human services, Secretary Kathleen Sebelius tells Senate panel. Another headline, Greenhouse gas in atmosphere hits a new record. October 11th, I mean, sorry, November 11th. South Korea's JAI newspaper reported that public, ex public executions took place in seven separate North Korean cities, cities earlier this month. In one case, the local authorities rounded up 10,000 people, including children, and forced them to watch 80 people put to death, found guilty of minor misdemeanors, including all they did was watch Southern Korean TV or possess the Bible, so they were murdered and killed for that. Witnesses saw eight people tied to stakes before having sacks placed over their heads and being executed by soldiers firing machine guns with the corpses so riddled by bullets that they were hard to identify. November 12th, four earthquakes in three hours shake India. Another headline. 6.6 .6 earthquake strikes eastern Russia. Another headline. Military chaplains sue after being ordered not to quote the Bible or pray in Jesus' name. November 13th. Four dead in Phoenix shooting. So we still got shootings all the time going on. Seems like we're getting worse and worse. Another headline. 360 dead in Somalia cyclone. November 15th. 10 dead, 80 injured in Pakistan violence. Another headline. Strong quake rattles Alaska. November 16th, 7.4 earthquake hits southeast Chile, Argentina. At least 45 killed in Tripoli. November 17th, 7.8 strikes South Atlantic. November 18th, two Indonesian volcanoes erupt. Another headline, Israel, Saudi Arabia planning joint strike on Iran. November 19th, 23 dead in Iranian embassy attack in Lebanon. 20th, a teacher fired for having a Bible in class in Ohio. November 22nd, 33 mutilated corpses found buried in Mexico. Another headline, 48 dead in Iraqi attacks. Another headline, Islamic blood ritual called Ashura on American streets, including New York, to commemorate death of their prophet, prophet's grandson, with children being bloodletted and people cutting themselves until the entire street is red with blood. 
I saw a picture of that too. It was real. It was really gruesome. November 23rd, 6.5 rattles Fiji. November 24th, Indonesian volcano erupts eight times just within hours. November 25th, 7.0 strikes South Atlantic. November 26th, Congress delays farm bill and mile could go uh, mileage could go up to seven dollars a gallon in charges for mileage. Another headline: U.S. flies two B-52 bombers over East China Sea, ignoring the new Chinese air defense zone. November 28th. Mexico, 54 bodies found in mass graves. Another headline. Italian police said a group of Calabrian Mafia assassins <coughs> beat a rival monster, mobster with a spade and fed him alive to pigs. Yeah, that's nasty. November 29th. Two dead in Pakistan after U.S. drone strike. Another headline. Officer was injured breaking up a fight outside a California Walmart and the shopper was shot in the leg over a TV in Las Vegas at the post-Thanksgiving shopping rush. Sparked violence at a number of stores across the nation. Another headline. German cop arrested over alleged cannibalism. Now we're in December. I just did, I just wanted to share November with you because it was just, you know, I, didn't, I couldn't do it last time, but there was a lot of stuff, so I'm going to make sure we shared that with you. Okay, December. December 1st, 6.3 earthquake strikes in Indonesia. This December 3rd, 24 killed in Iraq attacks. Another headline, bombs kill 9 in Afghanistan. Another headline, Hong Kong quarantined 17 people over bird flu. Another headline, NSA tracking 5 billion cell phone locations per day. Another headline, rockets kill 18 in government controlled Syria. The December 5th, 98 dead in Central African Republic clashes. Another headline, 10 killed and 75 people wounded in Iraqi militant attack. Another headline, dozens dead in Yemen attack. December 7th, 25 killed in Sudan clashes, 39 killed in Iraq violence, and a Syrian city executes three Christian men refusing to convert to Islam. Another headline, snow, ice, deep freeze hits the United States. December 9th, U.S. drone strike kills three in Yemen. 22 whales dead in Florida Keys. December 11th, Canada to claim the North Pole. Another headline, Russian military boosts Arctic presence. Another headline, prayer reducing crime in Kansas. So we got something good there, a little gleam of light. Because of prayer, the crime is reducing in Kansas. Another headline about prayer. Praying team spared in terrible bear attack. Another headline. Typhoon Haiyan deaths in Philippines top over 6,000 people dead from the uh, cyclone. Another headline, bubonic plague kills 20 in Madagascar. So now we've got the bubonic plague back. Another headline, suspect in Colorado shooting dies. No, another sh shooting out of school. Well, that's all we need. December 13th, 600 dead in Central African Republican violence. Another headline, homegrown terror plot to bomb Kansas airport thwarted. Amen. They stopped it. Militia attack in Central African Republic kills 27 people. December 14th, Gaza flooding, that's in Israel, drives 40,000 from their homes. Another headline, Syrian rebel commander freezes to death as cold snap grips the Middle East. Now, you know, that's usually a place where it's warm. You got people dropping dead because of the cold there now. So you got weird weather going on all over the world. Four dead in Israel, snowstorm. Another headline, China robotic planner rover lands on the moon. Another headline, Iran launches second monkey into space. Now, I thought they already launched a Minjot into space earlier. <laughs> a little joke. December 16th, 128 killed, 200 hurt in Syria bombardments. Another headline, wave of violence kills 70 in Iraq. So us leaving Iraq doesn't look like it helped that much, does it? Another headline, neo-Nazi attack, anti-racism anti -racism protesters in Sweden. December 17th. Wildfire in California's Big Sur forces evacuations. Another headline. Explosion hits their Hezbollah base in Lebanon. Another headline. U.S. sailors report cancer after Fukushima rescue. Now you guys are familiar with Fukushima, right? You know the tsunami that hit Japan? That hit one of the nuclear reactors? They still have not got that under control. We don't even really have the technology to control something like that when a nuclear reactor goes down. 
So people are dying because of radiation from time to hell. People died, you know, during that disaster uh, just trying to stop it. December 19th. Israel very likely to attack the Iraq reactor in Iran whose main purpose seems to be the manufacture of plutonium for bombs. So this reactor isn't really the kind that they set up to make electricity like they're claiming. This re reactor is specifically for plutonium, which is to make nuclear bombs quickly. So obviously Iran's up to something. That's why Israel wants to stop it. December 24th. Oh, I'm sorry. Back to the 19th. One more. U.S. military aircraft is under attack in South Sudan. That's just been on the news recently. You guys heard all this stuff going on in the Sudan. December 24th, five dead in European storms. Another headline, bomb blast kills 15 in an Egyptian police building. Now get this headline. McDonald's is advising their employees to stop eating fast food because it may be put people at risk for becoming overweight. They're not even going to let their own people eat their own food. <laughs> but I tell you, it's not real good for you. <laughs> Even though we're giving out some gift certificates today for yeah. McDonald's, but that's because we couldn't get the Subway ones. So we're trying to feed you healthy, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but then you're going to get some McDonald's. <laughs> Sorry! Okay. Okay, it says, that seems like rich advice from a company that's responsible for, for, for spreading fast food across the globe and has sold more than 300 billion burgers in its history. <laughs> okay, Christmas Day. 42 people killed in Iraqi attacks, and U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan was attacked. Get this, on Christmas, piranhas attacked 60 people in a feeding frenzy in Argentina, with one victim needing an amputation. But man, because of the weird weather going on, you got warmer waters than in, in different places than they normally are, so people aren't, don't know about it, and then you got piranhas attacking, you know, 60 people. It's crazy, due to the crazy weather. December 26, 40 civilians killed in an attack in DR Congo. December 27, Israel launches airstrikes on weapons facilities in Gaza in response to rockets fired against it from the Palestinian territory. So that's our news update. Thank God we have hope in Jesus, man. We got a lot of bad stuff going on in the world. Amen? Good Jesus, amen. He's our hope. In all of failing, he's our hope.